In the race to reach the skies, these buildings are literally head and shoulders above the rest. The following 15 skyscrapers make the Eiffel Tower in France, the Shard in London, and the Empire State Building in America look like tiny bungalows. I'm Glenn, and this is our list of 15 tallest buildings in the world that have completed construction. Thank you for watching Mind's Eye Design. Number 15. Now, on to our first completed tower. And what better place to start than the former tallest building in the world, the Willis Tower? Construction on the building was completed in 1973 when it was known as the Sears Tower. It retained the title as the world's tallest building for a quarter of a century until 1998 and then changed names in 2009. The tower is 442.1 meters tall with 110 stories. At the moment, the largest tenant of the skyscraper is United Airlines, which occupies 20 floors. Number 14. Next up just so happens to be the building that robbed the Willis Tower of its crown back in 1998. Technically, these buildings should occupy two spots on our list, but we have rolled the Patronus Towers into one. They held the crown as the tallest towers in the world between 1998 and 2004, standing at 451.9 meters, with 88 floors. The towers are made mainly out of reinforced concrete, with a steel and glass exterior designed to reflect Islamic art and Malaysia's Muslim religion. The first tower is occupied solely by Patronus, with the second housing various subsidiaries and associates. Number 13. Construction on the Tower T1 began back in 2013 and was completed in 2017, with the tower opening the next year. It stands at 452.1 meters tall, just 20 centimeters taller than the Petronas Towers. The Changshar IFS Tower is part of a development that also features a second 315 meter tall tower. Usually this would be considered tall, but it simply looks like the little brother in this scenario. The main tower features a mega mall and a hotel at the very peak for you daring holiday goers. Number 12. The tallest building in Vietnam, Landmark 81, only opened in 2018 after three years of construction. Despite architecturally only being 461.3 meters tall, the tip of the tower stands at 469.5 meters, with 81 stories between that and the ground. Between those two extremes, you can find a hotel, conference facilities, restaurants, bars, retail spaces, luxury apartments, and even an observation deck at the crown of the tower. In September of 2018, the building survived a minor fire scare on floor 64 after a welding incident. Number 11. And now to Russia. The Lokta Center started construction back in 2012 and topped out in 2018, although it has still not yet opened its doors. It became the tallest building in Russia in October of 2017 when construction surpassed the Vostok Tower in Moscow. The Lokta Center stands at 462 meters tall with 87 stories and will be the headquarters of energy company Gazprom. In 2018, when laying the foundations, the tower entered the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest continuous concrete pour. Number 10. Construction started on the International Commerce Tower in Hong Kong back in 2002 and finished eight years later. When opened in 2010, it was the fourth tallest building in the world, but has slipped down the list a little since then. It stands at 484 meters tall, with 118 stories. Four basement floors house a shopping mall, while a five-star hotel can be found between 102 and 118, and office space in between. The world's highest swimming pool and bar can be found on the very top floor for those of you who want to practice your breaststroke in the clouds.
Number nine. This next entry on our list looks a little like a giant bottle opener, but it's impressive all the same. The World Financial Center in Shanghai was built between 1997 and 2008, but it was well worth the wait. The tower stands at 492 meters tall with 101 stories and three separate observation decks along the way. The Financial Center features office space, a hotel, a museum, retail space, and a parking garage. Just imagine the size of that beer bottle. Number eight. The first of our buildings to break the 500 meter mark, the 101 Tower, stands at a staggering 508 meters tall. Between 2004 and 2010, it was the world's tallest building, before eventually being surpassed by the current title holder, but we'll get to that one later. It was built between 1999 and 2004 and unsurprisingly features 101 floors. It even has an elevator that takes you from floor 5 to floor 89 in 37 seconds at nearly 38 miles per hour. Number 7 The CTF Finance Center opened in 2016 after seven years of building. The tower stands at 530 meters tall with 111 floors above ground and five below. If you thought the elevators in the last skyscraper were fast, the CTF Finance Center boasts one of the fastest in the world, reaching speeds of 45 miles per hour. The tower also houses a shopping mall, 59 floors of offices, 355 apartments, 251 hotel rooms, plus bars, restaurants, and more. Number six. A beautiful tower built on the legacy of one of the worst terrorist attacks in history. The One World Trade Center Tower was rebuilt on the World Trade Center complex after the horrific 9-11 attacks back in 2001. Building began in 2006 and was completed by 2013 with the skyscraper opening the next year. It stands at 541 meters tall with 104 floors, the majority of which are leased out as office space. Number five. Up to 554.5 meters now. The Lotte World Tower comes in at fifth on our list. Building began in 2011 and was completed by 2016 and is currently the tallest building in South Korea. It comprises of office space, residential, a hotel, and a six-story observation area at the very top of the tower. Two Russian and Ukrainian explorers famously broke in during construction, taking the stairs partway up before free climbing to the top. That video reached over 3 million views online. Number 4 after the lot was purchased by the Pingong Group at auction in 2007, construction started on the Finance Center in 2010, with completion coming in 2017. It reaches just over 599 meters tall, with 115 floors above ground and five below. It is currently used as a high-end shopping mall, conference center, hotel, retail space, and offices. Its elevators can reach speeds of 22 miles per hour. Number three. It's fair to say that the Albate Clock Tower stands out against the modern glass skyscrapers on this list. It was built between 2004 and 2011 and stands at 601 meters tall. It also features the largest clock face in the world. Take that, Big Ben. The clock tower houses an array of things, including a mall, health club, residential areas, hotel rooms, shops, and more. It was built after the destruction of the historically significant Ayad Fortress. Number two. The bridesmaid of our list. The Shanghai Tower clocks in at 632 meters tall with 128 floors above ground. It also features the joint highest building observation deck at 562 meters and the second fastest elevator at 46 miles per hour. 
this tower really can't catch a break. The beautiful curved helical skyscraper was built between 2008 and 2014, opening in 2015. Number one. The Burj Khalifa. Standing at 828 meters tall, this monster in Dubai is just under a whopping 200 meters taller than our second placed entry. Built between 2004 and 2009, this tower looks like something straight out of a sci-fi classic. But you'll definitely need to use one of its 57 elevators. Hi everyone and thank you for watching. I'm Chan Lee with Mind's Eye Design. We love to hear your feedback, so please leave some comments below and let us know your favourite from this video and why you liked it. If you have an idea for a future video, leave another comment and let us know. And then if we use your idea, we'll give you a shout out in that video. But don't leave yet. Keep watching because there's more.